Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bowery, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm discussing causes of leptin resistance. So leptin resistance is something that I've discussed before, but it really does need some great explanation, and that's why I thought I would really break it down as to some of the main causes of this phenomenon and why it's often overlooked in mainstream medicine, especially when we talk about inflammation, when we talk about thyroid diseases and autoimmunity and of course weight loss and that's why most people actually tune into these shows on leptin resistance because you're having difficulty losing that weight it's simply not coming off well if we take a look at what is going on with leptin and the actual leptin resistance so leptin is a hormone that's actually given off by our fat cells and it signals to the brain particularly the hypothalamus that we are in a state of either needing more food or that we're okay and that we have enough fat. But what happens over time and for different reasons is that we can have disruption in our leptin receptors and the brain simply doesn't get that signal any longer and this is where the resistance comes in. So here is a typical case scenario of what's going on, especially as it's related to weight loss and weight gain. So when we gain weight, we have increased fat stores and those increased fat stores will will unfortunately send off that signal of that leptin to the brain. So this is a good thing. So now our fat cells, because of this excess weight, start to secrete something called CRP. And this is actually one of the markers of the leptin resistance. When that CRP is bound to the leptin, then it no longer can cross that blood brain barrier and send that signal to the hypothalamus. Then what happens because that brain isn't getting that signal of that excess leptin is that we crave more carbohydrates, we have more appetite, especially for the carbohydrates, especially closer to bedtime, which is one of the worst things that you can do is to eat just before bed in terms of our leptin signaling. And now we have an increase in blood sugar, also with other nutrient deficiencies, which can go hand in hand with this, like a lack of DHA, zinc, magnesium, to name a few, then we overeat. And then what does that do? Well, that causes more of that weight gain and that fat gain, more leptin and more of the leptin resistance cycle. So you can see how this goes around and around and around. You may address some of the carbohydrate issues, but unless you're actually fixing the leptin resistance at the receptor level and decreasing that inflammation by doing certain tips that I have, so that's in another video, then you can't effectively get this under control. So again, to go through some of the causes of leptin resistance, one of them can be the inflammatory diet. So the polyunsaturated fatty acids can contribute to this inflammation in the body, as well as too many carbohydrates. So we know that the carbohydrates will have an effect in terms of inflammation, but also has an effect on our insulin levels, and this can really stress out the system as well as alcohol. So alcohol will deplete our vitamin A levels and this can further then complicate the leptin resistance as well as lack of sunlight. So the sunlight, this is the giver of our life. This sets up our metabolism and our circadian rhythm. So seeing that early morning sun and the sun at different points of the day is really important. And this is something that I will share in the tips of how to fix the leptin resistance. Also not being grounded. So we need to connect with the electrons from the earth. That's why I love ground and earthing which is important and most of us walk around for days without ever connecting with the earth because we wear rubber soled shoes so this is something to take into consideration as well also not allowing our body to actually adapt to our ambient temperatures so so in a cold environment we will put on sweaters we'll put on our warm down jackets at least here in Canada that's what we do so we're never allowing our body to actually adapt to that cold which can set us up for more of the leptin resistance. As well as in the hot sun, we put on our AC, we cool ourselves down. So we really at some point need to be more in tune. We think about animals in the forest, be more in tune with the environment and allow our body to go to those extremes of temperature a little bit because that's all about that adaptation and helps with our leptin signaling as well, especially the cold. Also, we have from our environment too much toxicity in terms of blue light, so artificial light 
which damages our receptors in terms of being able to signal our brain and helping with our leptin resistance, but also EMF exposure. So from whether it's cell phone towers, so certainly 5G is definitely, you know, in the forefront of a lot of people's minds in terms of EMF exposure, but it really is from anything that is plugged into a wall and has a frequency. So think, you know, radios, think cell phones, think all of our tablets, our television screens, even the lights here in the studio are all giving off EMF radiation, which can have a negative impact on our leptin signaling and our cellular function, as well as stress. So we know that stress wreaks havoc on our cortisol levels. We know that that, along with the inflammation, there's something called pregnenolone steel, and this will offset our hormones in not a healthy way and is also one of the causative factors for the leptin resistance, as well as the health of our gut. So not having a healthy gut microbiome and leaky gut syndrome can also be causative factors of this leptin resistance. So I hope you've got some questions and comments for me. Please do leave them in the, the comment section below. Be sure to share this video as well and give me a big thumbs up. I appreciate all of your positive feedback. If you're new here, welcome into my channel. Make sure that you're subscribed and you turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.